Good morning, Skyridge. I'm Caden. And I'm Jack. Welcome to SNN. Today is Tuesday, February 19th, 2013. It is a hawk day, which means star periods 2, 4, and 6. How was your long weekend? Did you say home or go away? We hope you had a nice rest and are ready to have your first phone in of the week. Ready? Go to Google and see the doodle. Whose birthday is it today? Call 78293 with your answer. We want the individual's first and last name. We are logged in and ready for action. The black hole, which is our lost and found spot. Is empty. Yep, nothing there. Nada. All donated to charity. So here's how it goes. Lose something, check there first. Even if something is behind in a classroom, take us to the black hole to be claimed. Lunch bags left in the hall? Three words, the black hole. Toward the end of each grading time, we will remain remind you to check it. But about a week after that, all items get donated to charity. Ms. Hoffman and CEF would like to thank everyone for signing up. For those of you who made the commitment, the CEF Thonathon is on February 26th, 27th, and 28th. Thanks again. We saw on the reader board that there's a meeting at Liberty tonight for students interested in summer travels to Japan. The meeting is in the Commons at Liberty from 6 to 7. That's tonight. totally new news. So if you want to travel to our sister city in Japan, this is your chance. Tonight. Tonight. Say it. <laughs> you know the variety show? Yeah. I bet for some students that there was their, this was their best day ever. Oh, so maybe they could doodle about it and enter Google's drawing contest. Doodle for Google. The theme is my best day ever. Make your picture pretty and you could win lots of cool stuff. And your doodle will appear right on Google's homepage. Go to the site www.google.com slash doodle for Google. That's the number four. On the site, there are samples from years plus. Plus, you can read more about the theme. Your due date is March 17th. Isn't that St. Patrick Day? I think it is. Well, and I think of green, I think of mint. Lucky, get it? Lucky for you, it's a National Chocolate Mint Day. Yum, that sounds amazing. In tea houses and dinner halls of the early 1900s, mint sprigs and dark chocolates served after desserts for people to chew oh, for good breath and aid digestion. Sounds delicious and refreshing. Then the Girl Scouts came along. Oh, the Girl Scouts. What did they do? Thin Mints, a Girl Scout cookie first sold in 1951, accounts for over 25% of the annual Girl Scout cookie sales. What's next in the world of mint? After eights introduced in 1962, were considered a classic version of the classic Thin Mint, with dark chocolate and rich mint center considered at the time the perfect after dinner mint. How about those other ones, wrapped in green foil? Andy's Chocolate Mints, created in 1921, have little to do with the Andes Mountains. Wow. You know a lot about mints. You know what they say about the first person to have mass-produced candies? No. They what? They made a mint! Ha! Uh, happy National Mint Day! And you know that they add green color. There's a knowledgeable meet today at 3.45. It's our first meet today against Shyla. Good luck. Basketball news recap of February 14th. Game results against Frontier. The girls. The Skyridge Ladies of the Hardwoods defeated Frontier 48-16 to with an outstanding team effort with the team celebrating as all players scored. In double figures was Lizzie Sheldon with 13 points. And Brianne Pfeiffer with 12. Balanced scoring throughout the lineup and all players contributing baskets for the win. Player of the game goes to Claire Green for her coast-to-coast -coast finish and to McCall Danis for the teamwork of completing Claire's and one play. Vote in question, answer time. This date of science celebrates the 540th birthday of Nicholas Copernicus. Who was he again? Nicholas Copernicus was a Polish Renaissance mathematician. I thought he was an astronomer. That too. He formed a heli heliocentric model that which placed the sun rather than the earth at the center of the universe. Congrats to Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis or William from Mr. Davis's room. Congratulations on answering correctly. Take a look at the anime doodle on Google's homepage today. Today's thought from another scientist mathematician, Albert Einstein. Reality is an illusion. Albeit. Albeit a pres very persistent one. Uh, uh, oh, the gum ban has been lifted. Be responsible with your gum and throw it away responsibly. Or there will be punishment. Get it? Like National Mint Day? Yeah, I get it. Be sure to follow the sky code. Be safe. Be respectful and be responsible. Time to stand for the pledge. Ready? 